In most football leagues across the world, you'll find promotion and relegation systems. This means the teams at the top of a division go up to the division above, and the ones that finish poorly at the bottom, they go down to the division below. For example, in the English Premier League, three teams that finish at the bottom go down to the Championship, the second division. Vice versa, three teams from the Championship get promoted to the Premier League. The system works differently in every league. For example, in the Championship, the top two teams get promoted automatically to the Premier League at the end of the season. And then the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth play a mini tournament, and the winner of that gets to go into the Premier League along with the top two. This means despite three teams being promoted to the Premier League, third place isn't guaranteed a spot to be there. However, this becomes especially grueling when you look at the fifth division, the National League. The National League, also known as step one of the non-league system, is the highest level of non-league football in England. With the exponential growth of the sport, there is enough quality and money in the National League to mean that the majority of players in the league are professional footballers, which means some have called for this league to be added into the EFL system. Another big problem with the National League is how difficult it is to get out. Only the bottom two get relegated from League Two down to the National League, which means only two teams from the National League get promoted. Of course that includes the champions, but there's still a playoff system, which means second place has to go into that mini tournament with the lower ranked teams. It's especially competitive this season where you have both Wrexham and Notts County both reaching 100 points still with a few games to play. It looks like both teams will break the 105 point record set a decade ago, but with Wrexham having recently won a crucial 6 pointer against Notts County and holding a 3 point lead with a game in hand, it looks like the title is theirs for the take in. There's enough space between both teams and the 3rd place spot, but of course, first place is only guaranteed to one of them. Which means despite the prospect of breaking the points record in the league, one of those teams won't be automatically promoted. In any normal season, the second place probably has the best chance of winning the playoffs. However, they start to win the games in the playoffs if they want a chance to be promoted, and this isn't guaranteed. Just imagine if your team broke the points record in a league and got absolutely nothing to show for it. This is just another reason why some fans have called for the introduction of the National League into the EFL, and perhaps more spots open for promotion and relegation between that and League 2. We might end up seeing the best ever team to not be promoted, but what do you think will happen come the end of the season? Will both Wrexham and Notts County be promoted to League 2, or will one of them be doomed to another season in the National League? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss one of our future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you're having an amazing day and peace out.